Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about lookup value function in Power BI. As the name says, using this lookup value function, we are going to look for a value either in the same data set or in a different data set. If you're familiar with databases, it's just like selecting the value, selecting the columns you need based on the search condition. So here in the lookup value function, we'll be passing three main parameters. The first parameter is the result set, the result column, which you want to see as a result. And the second column is the column you want to search. Okay. And the third column, it's the search value column, which you want to provide to the lookup value function. I know this is not clear. You will understand it when you actually look at the demo. So without any delay, let's get started. If you look at my screen here, I took a sample data from AdventureWorks and I have uh, four tables here, customer, employee, job fee and sales territory. So um, here for the lookup value function, I'll be showing two examples and for the first example, we'll be using the data from Tim employee table. Okay. So now let's go to the um, this uh, data tab and uh, look at the data here for employee table. Uh, we have employee key, uh, employee first name, last name, middle name and uh, different columns. So uh, my requirement here is I will provide one employee key to the lookup value function and I want to get the first name as a result. So that's one use case of lookup value function you give you provide one um, value as a parameter and based on that parameter you want to see the result okay so let's create a measure in the employee table I'm creating a new measure here and i'll call the measure as employee first name okay so you use the lookup value function here and here I am looking for the result column would be first name from employee table right so you give the result column name here um, result column is first name because I want to see the first name of the employee so that's my result column that's what I want to see as a result okay and what am i providing as a search condition which column am i providing here i'm providing the employee key from employee table okay so i'm giving the employee key column as my uh, second parameter here okay and here i want to search um, i um, and the third parameter i want to give the employee number as employee key value as one let's close this and I save this uh, first create a card here okay and now let's get the measure we created just now employee first name and the first name of that employee is guy okay let's see if that's the right first name so for the uh, for the employee key one the first name is guy let's change that to something else let's change that to 17 maybe okay so i'm modifying the measure i just created i'm changing this to 17 say okay and now this got changed to jeffrey let's see the data if you look at 17 um the first name of employee key 17 is Jeffrey. So this is how you use um, a lookup function to find a value. So this is one use case of lookup value function. Okay, now let's see what the second use case is. Second use cases. Uh, usually uh, the first use case which we talked just now is not commonly used in real world the one which we are going to talk now is the one which is used in the real world okay so in this example what i want to do is i have um, a customer table here and geography table 
so in the customer table i have um geography key here so if you look at the customer table here you have geography key so based on this geography key from this geography table i want to get the region country okay english i want to get this english country region name let's see how to do that so so when you have to um, get the data from a different table you usually what you usually do is you create a new column in the in one of the uh, table so here because i have most of the customer details in a customer table i'm going to create a new column in this customer table in this dim customer table so let's go to the data tab here and i'm going to dim customer table so this is my customer table so if you look at the customer table here um, you don't have a, a country name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new column i click on the new column there and now here i'm going to name the column as um, country okay and we use the lookup value function lookup value and i'm going to uh, and the uh, first parameter of this lookup value will be the result column so uh, the result column is in a different table it's in dim geography table right so i'm going to gym job dim geography table and the column is english country region name i'm going to give this okay and the search column is uh, in both customer and geography table the common column is the uh, geography key column so that's based on that column i'll be uh, searching my data so this is my second parameter and my third parameter is the custom uh, geography key in customer table right so i'm going to customer table and give the geography key column from this table and just say okay so here a new column is created country and you got all the country names into your customer table so this is the second use case for lookup value function and this is the most commonly used one as well i hope now you understood what a lookup value function is and how to use it if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you